This is 2010 Wet Leaf in Casa Grande. Four bedrooms, three bath, three full bathrooms, RV gate, over 9,000 square foot lot. Backyard's big. It's a nice looking house. You can see it's got the stone here in the front. It's a beautiful driveway here. Couple touch-ups in progress. It's almost done, but it looks really good. It's a very nice looking house. You can see here there's tile throughout, except for the bedrooms, which we'll make our way through here in just a few moments. It has this beautiful tile. So what I like about this, having the four, four bedrooms and the three baths, one of the bathrooms is connected to this room down over here, which we'll peek into here in just a second, but that could be easily used as a in-law suite. You got a ton of different possibilities with that. Or if you're running a home-based office, I mean, gosh, you have complete setup right there. We'll, again, we'll take a peek at that here in a minute. But uh, this beautiful kitchen too, you know, these granite countertops, 42 inch cabinets, crown, gorgeous. Backsplash, sharp, nice clean feel. And also the home, the paint is not flat white. It's a flat type paint, but it's got some color to it. So gives it more character. It's a nice look, nice contrast with the flat white uh, ceiling, nice cabinets. It's a good looking home. So we'll make our way back to the front here. So we have bedroom number one. And we're going to be putting fans and blinds in the rest of the part of the house. Typically, the front already includes it as a requirement with the HOA, but we're putting fans and blinds in the rest of the room, rooms. And so the rooms have some good size to them, too. They're not your 10 by 10s or 10 by 12s. These are a lot bigger than your standard. And you have 9-foot ceilings. Okay, here's a pretty bad. So what I like here are this... Home has granite throughout, so it's not like culture marble in the uh, guest bathroom. So that's nice touch to it, matches the rest. And the taller cabinets here too to go with the house. Sometimes when you get uh, standard size, it's a little bit shorter than that, but that's that's beautiful. Beautiful carpet. Good size closets, sliders. Again, nine foot ceilings makes the rooms you feel even even bigger. And again, we're putting blinds and fans throughout. <clears throat> and we'll make our way to the side office here or bedroom. And this would be bedroom three. And this is the one that has a full bath with it too. Again, granite counters. Taller baseboard. I mean, it's a beautiful home. Sharp. Again, second peak right through there. And this community is in Casa Vista, so you have some gorgeous mountain views. And we're going to we're doing a granite here in the back too, so that'll all be cleaned up here. We're waiting for this mud to dry up so we can grade the back. After that, it'll be all set. And this has a two-car garage, electric water heater, and a garage service door. It's wet. It was power washed just today, so that's still drying up. Those are not stains, it's just water. Uh, but again, your garage service door, nice. Clean garage, brand new. Laundry room. Again, that's a nice size laundry room. You can put a refrigerator after you have your washer and dryer here. And you can put a fridge here in this corner, <clears throat> I suppose, maybe you can run an extension if you were to do that, but it's got the space for it. Uh, 
in these nice big windows too. I really like these windows. A lot of natural light coming through. And again, there's a peek at that oversized lot and I'll cruise back there from the patio view here in just a minute. So pretty muddy. But this is a master, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, uh, master. And we have this nice, beautiful restroom with double sinks, stand-up shower. So you have a stand-up shower in the master and you have a, a tub showers in the other two restrooms. So you have a combination, whatever you prefer, you got it covered. So you have this big closet right here. That's massive. And then on the other side, you have a linen closet for extra space. Towel storage, toiletries. It's nice there. So again, I won't step out on there, that side over there, because it's soft mud. This is a, you see, I mean, this is a huge lot, and it even continues. I guess see if I can reach over as far as I can. I don't know how far that'll work, but it goes all the way to the front. So I like how the builders uh, use the space all the way to the front, instead of like bringing it here and not utilizing this. That could be used as a dog run storage. I mean, you could do kinds of, the kinds of stuff with that side space. And again, it goes pretty far back there. And then you have all this space right here. So, beautiful home, beautiful community. You can see some gorgeous mountain views there off in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah. So around the community, you have these beautiful views. And it's just a couple minutes away from the promenade there in Casa Grande. You have all those shops, restaurants, the movie theater, banks. And again, that's the Casa Grande, the, the promenade. But a gorgeous house, awesome location. We don't expect this to last long. It's going to rent quick. Thanks for watching.